uh, how do you compare it with uh, uh, the private retirement scheme that is offered by unit trust company and uh, oh. uh, with those uh, plan annuity plan that is offered by uh, insurance company what's the difference okay yeah I have done a informal uh, I would like to say it's an informal uh, study right so uh, I am and I we have already made a comparison here right so as you can see here the private retirement scheme and the different entity in fact these two categories share the same 3000 tax relief okay as you can see here private retirement scheme it is governed under the security commission and whereas the deferred entity is governed by bank and government Malaysia uh, prs is offered by unit trust companies whereas deferred entity is offered by insurance com company and uh, private retirement scheme is a defined contribution whereby uh, uh, later this will explain the defined contribution that's when you uh, this this one is actually uh, depends on how you define it so these two i'm not going to touch in detail and uh, for prs there's no fixed amount or intervals right you can uh, put in any time as you wish or whatever amount that you wish to there's no fixed amount or interval and you can put any time let's say you can skip one or two years doesn't matter whereas for different entity uh, once you fix the amount let's say three thousand a year you will have to put it aside for three thousand Okay, every year for 10 years once you de decide on the uh, but uh, this one of course it depends on how much or how far you would like to enjoy the tax relief okay and another one is uh, capital not guaranteed if you place your money in the equity funds right and this one the, the annual income is guaranteed for different entity and uh, for PRS many parties will involve uh, whereby you have a private pension authority, you have the PRS provider, which is a unit trust company, and you also have the scheme trustee, right? Because the government would want the the unit trust company to make sure the trust, the, the money is in good hand. And for different entity, only insurance company is involved. And uh, PRS money is subject to estate frozen, need to bring GP or LA to withdraw money, whereas different entity. You just need to do a nomination, so it's not subject to estate frozen. No need to bring GP, run a probate or LA to withdraw money. All right. So this is upon death. Uh, these two is upon death, right? Upon death, okay, it is subject to this thing. Okay. So uh, basically, I'm, I'm not saying which one is good, which one is not good, and uh, both are equally. Uh, it's all up to the customer's uh, option. So uh, it depends on. How you want to want to save on your tax relief, okay?